Good morning and welcome to the Australian Stock Report's online morning update for the 15th of October 2012. International markets posted more losses in last week's final trading session as investors reacted negatively to a pair of disappointing profit results in the US. Wells Fargo and JP Morgan released third quarter earnings that fell shy of analyst estimates, sparking a sell-off in US banks that weighed on the overall market. There was little reaction to data showing US consumer confidence rising to its highest in over five years as, in, as concerns grow over the financial performance of the nation's corporate sector. There wasn't much cheer for commodities, with gold and bo most base metals sliding more than 1%. The euro managed a small gain against the US dollar as speculation swirled Spain was nearing a formal request for a bailout. Elsewhere, the Aussie dollar fell against the greenback but has turned higher this morning after weekend data revealed China's exports accelerated in September, easing concerns over the state of the economy. The SPY again failed to clear 4500 on Friday night, instead falling below 4480 in line with the weakness in Europe and the US. The index has struggled for direction over the past week and is showing signs of strain around current levels. It is likely to be a negative start for local shares this morning. SPY futures are pointing to a 10.4 for the physical market on the open. For the Asian markets, we maintain a long bias on the Hang Seng and a short bias on the Nikkei. Whilst in the Australian equity section, we have a short biased trading idea on Origin Energy. That wraps up the Australian Stock Report morning update. Thank you for listening.